We now know that the sneaky men have been cultivating the forest of Nyon so they could make some nice wine for themselves and they've been lying to me about it. So let's go check with the station master to see where they uh, keep the fruits so I can hopefully lure those birds away from the ladder and get the egg to enter the bandstand. a long chain of events <laughs> to catch Molly. There he is. See what he has to say now. Cheeky. Right. Excuse me, station master, but I need you again. Can't you see I am very, very busy? <laughs> uh, no. I, well, well, I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. Uh, yeah, the grapes. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest Sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I've never seen your Sauvignon thing. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey lady, you're going a bit <laughs> far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, you honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Oh, sure, sure, no problemo, right away, miss. It's not like we were going to tell anyone anyway, but they don't know that. Seem to be the path, yep, yeah, towards the garden. There you are. Please feel free to visit the garden at your leisure. And uh, uh, there was just one thing. Uh, I'm not a liar. Not really. Just mum's the word. There is a reputation in the university to think about. And I have superiors, and I have to do what I can. <laughs> I understand. Don't you worry. Oh, thank you, miss. He looks more like an old sea captain than a station master to me. That's nice. The weather is a bit humid looking. There we go. That's our forest sauvignon. my pocket. They look tasty. birds were on this side of the station or maybe not let's see yeah oh, what's that oh yeah that's the powder that we got there we read in the book that um, uh, natives use this uh, powder from this mushroom to improve their vision so this will probably be necessary later in the story so now we need the grapes.
And we can go up now. Haha. <laughs> Easy. I only had to run back and forth 20 times or so. <laughs> like I said, the, the scenery makes it worth it. Uh, there's always something to look at, so it's not horrendous. And there we are. <sighs> Impossible to reach it. Guess that's why we picked up that grabby thing. This tube holder, apparently. There we go. Got a beautiful large egg. It's an interesting design. For those of you who might remember, it reminds me a little bit of the golden condor from the Mysterious City of Gold cartoon. I used to watch that when I was a kid. Um, so yeah, we've got the egg, so we should be able to enter the bandstand now. Let's see if we can repair it. Don't even know what's wrong with it yet. So. Apparently the rector's lost the manual for it, so we'll have to be resourceful. Which is what we've been doing the whole time. We operated a factory and a train. Yeah, mi miss, miss, please, uh, excuse me. Yes? You know, I want to apologize for our little misunderstanding. I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I brought you a bottle of wine. Marrickstadt Sauvignon. Very good year. Let me know what you think. I'm very touched. Thank you. Good luck on your journey, lady. Thank you. A small bribe never hurt. Very nice. And back into the university we go. Some uh, very cool statues if you were going to university here. Yep. Aha. Perfect. Why I couldn't just push it down. Okay, this looks mildly complicated. Uh, what do we have? Got a handle. That was a lot easier than I expected. Oh, off we go. The difficult part was finding an egg with the exact correct weight and shape. Uh, so we fixed that. Time to pick up our money. The rectors promised to pay us if we managed to fix the bandstand so that we can pay the people who own the barge to tow our train to the winding mechanism and so we can move along. We also still have um, the professor. Uh, he's got our mammoth doll 
to investigate and he's going to give a lecture about it so we'll, uh, we'll have to attend that before we can leave a gentleman forgive me for disturbing you again but i have a little problem a little problem a little problem everyone has little problems now you know they are kept to oneself and they don't stop the world from turning nor trains from leaving stations actually i have a solution right now but uh uh money or well i don't, I don't know sometimes it's not clear what you need to like if you just want to move the story along which option to click i could ask for the money i guess but is it also like could it be the mission i'm not sure i'll go for the money and see what they say gentlemen i have managed to repair your university bandstand the bandstand is playing again this is marvelous news we are really very grateful very grateful indeed yes very grateful indeed we will look back on your visit with much fondness in our hearts and now let us in turn honor our word how much is it you need miss a hundred dollars if it's not too much to ask Something about <clears throat> we agree to grant you the aforementioned sum miss you may now leave with your train And while we're on the subject, when will you be leaving? Uh, yes, because now you should relocate your train as quickly as possible. Um. Excuse me. Uh, miss, we find ourselves terribly oh, put. Indeed, well. the situation... Our train should first... So, uh, don't think we've got anything else to tell them. Don't Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Before we leave, we also have to still uh, open the lock um, in the canal uh, because the barge can't actually move until that's done. So we'll have to look into that too. Uh, the professor said he would give us a a phone call when he was done with his investigation and was going to give his lecture so we don't really have to check back for that he will uh, contact us and now we've got some music while we're walking down the square lovely it's a bit Sad. Well kept grounds though. Station master works hard. Um, so we're going to that couple on the barge to give them their money. Let's see if they can help us. Do I need to <laughs> throw my loot bag on the boat, maybe? Yeah, let's try that. Here you are. There you go. Here's your money. I've checked it. It's all there. Thank you. Not difficult get daughter. See? You are a real businesswoman. I'm not the only one around here. We pleased to do deal with you. Now, you open lock or we no help you. Why didn't you manage to open them? After all, you don't have to be a genius. Ma vor vat pemsiros esto, di kleiner madam. No se saye mar alles non comprendo en alora caput en andere mordel. Zir zvar moi. On boom telephone here in Kaput Kaput. 
My husband say instructions complicated, no understand manual. My husband angry, very angry. Oh, now telephone broke, kaput. Now that is annoying. What are you gonna do next? We wait repairman. Well, I don't have the time to wait. I'll have to go to have a look. There must be some way of releasing the opening mechanism. Take key. Sailor always need key for lock. Okay, thanks. Right, take the key. Did we get another dialogue option there? Yes. Um, maybe the station master knows something about that. It's it's located right in the train station after all. Let's go check if he's still there. <laughs> 